ho, ho, ho. Hello, I've recently met with some helpful hounds and introduced them to my elves and reindeer. They were so friendly, the wagging tails and those big eyes. We all had a great time, and so, in return, I thought I'd like to send my own very personal best Christmas wishes on behalf of my friends, Helpful Hounds Assistance Dogs. Happy Christmas from everyone involved with Helpful Hounds, the children, the adults, the schools, the staff and volunteers, and, of course, those wonderful Helpful Hounds themselves. I look forward to seeing that you're ready for an excellent Christmas full of fun, friendship, and celebration of this special time. And let's hope that I've not forgotten any important presents this year. All my helpers do their best, but there are so many to deliver these days, and the batteries are so heavy. However, it is not just Christmas. Let us all look forward to an excellent 2022 full of happiness and success. And for those of you with your own dogs or with a helpful hound, then I wish you the joy of having a special dog in your life and who is your best friend. For those who do not know too much about Helpful Hounds Assistance Dogs, please feel free to visit www.helpfulhounds.org.uk where you can find more information, apply for help, volunteer your time, or make a donation to help with their work. And talking of tales, as I was earlier, you might like one of my favorite tales. <laughs> I've come back to my living room from the mailroom in order to tell you a story. It's much more comfortable here. One of my favorite stories is Twas the Night Before Christmas, a poem written by Clement Moore way back in the 1830s to describe the visit from Santa Claus or St. Nicholas to his daughter. And it goes like this. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer? With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. 
He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.